Art is the way we express ourselves as makers and creators. We find all kinds of ways to behold art. I see beauty everywhere. Art has a way of helping us express our hopes, our dreams, our emotions. Street art is done by everyone for everyone. Sometimes art can bleed into politics, social justice, or philosophy. But can art alter our views of the world? And can it inspire us to change? are in Astoria, Queens, underneath Hell's Gate Bridge. Some called her the queen of the night. I'm just an artist. Her name was known throughout the city, but few had seen her face. To some, she was a hero. Others labeled her an outlaw. But everyone agreed she became a force to be reckoned with and known as Lady Pink. I grew up in this neighborhood. Astoria is my neck of the woods. I lived in a private house, so I would jump out the window with my bag of paint quietly and go to the worst neighborhoods of New York City because that's where they park the trains. The work she's doing here isn't illegal. In fact, it's a commissioned work of art. Painting a beautiful mural with my assistants, Chloe and Matt and Nikki and my husband. Graffiti or street art with permission can be a platform and a voice and I used it for activism. Now I'm doing about mental health issues and about burnout. Burnout that college students feel, burnout that even grown-ups feel with our deadlines and our overworked kind of lives. We don't stop to take care of ourselves. After two days of prepping, the crew is out here for eight hours putting the finishing touches on a colorful mural that beautifies the neighborhood and with a meaningful message. In the street, our message has to be crystal clear and, and clearly understood by people who are just walking by very quickly. But we will have a couple of words, a hashtag that gives a kind of like a title or an idea what this is about. Lady Pink's career started when she was 15. She was the only female capable of competing with the boys in the graffiti subculture. I would say we're more like pirates, just taking what we please and not asking, may I, just painting what we wanted, you know, or, or adventurers, conquerors, you know, or like um, St. George going out to slay the dragon. Graffiti really refers to the stylized lettering wild style it also happens to be the title of the first motion picture on the hip-hop culture lady pink had a starring role we're trying to do a lot for the community now we're trying to, the community. yeah trying to like make liven up a few things make it a job we're gonna try to make it a living i guess one of my favorite scenes is you are 16 years old and you are saying i want to do this for the rest of my life I, I want to make a living doing this. I didn't say that in that movie. Really, did I? Okay, so it's true. I am. I'm doing this for the rest of my life. 43 years, I've been going strong. You know, I still exhibit in galleries. I do mural commissions. I work with students, which is my favorite. Full circle. Doesn't that feel good that you have achieved that dream that you set out for yourself way back then? I it would be very hard to believe that. We were painting subways, trying to figure out what to be when we grew up. Sure, we're selling paintings a little bit, but that's going to fade away. The path she chose continues to take her around the world. She had her first solo gallery show at the age of 21. Her work has since been shown in the Whitney Museum and the Met Museum of Art and sold in the high-end art world at Sotheby's. Lady Pink is the prime example of how art can change minds because she helped transform how we looked at graffiti art and all street artists. I forget that I'm, I'm not alone in my studio. I like my scaffolds to dance, just like a go-go girl. Okay? <laughs> Letting it go. Street art is done by everyone for everyone. It is up and down the streets. Like you yourself said, you lived with the murals that I've been painting here for decades in Astoria. And that is my whole purpose of being, is to lift up spirits, beautify communities, and become part of your life in that I have beautified your neighborhood. Coming up. I have two purples of the same exact thing. Not everything goes according to plan. This is not gonna go. I let my husband pack my paint this morning. I have 
two purples of the same exact thing. Can I borrow a purple from you, ma'am? We learned to improvise. You only have what you bring, you can't go get anything else. And if what you bring is malfunctioning or something, you have to innovate. You can't complain about it, just get to it and fix it. If I can't shade with another purple, I will just shade with the blue. But I found the dark purple, it's just what I needed. I really want to go for a three-dimensional look, so it's important. Lady Pink learned her style on the streets in the 80s. And the world of graffiti artists was not for the faint of heart. We would go climbing walls and going through some crazy missions just to get into a train yard or into a tunnel. Then you've got to paint your thing in the darkness very quietly. You know, you hear rustling noises and you hope it's not the police and hope it's only some rats that are scurrying at your feet. Her art made a statement, giving voice to a view of New York from a woman's perspective. It made her art into a beacon of hope and a source of pride. What was it like to see your train go by? To see our subway trains ride by for anybody was you turn into a five-year-old kid, you're jumping up and down. I did it, I succeeded in the middle of the night under such stressful conditions. It's an amazing feeling watching your train roll by. From the trains to the museums, Lady Pink helped legitimize graffiti artists earning acceptance in the art world as a form of self-expression. Graffiti art was born in New York City, late 60s, invented by teenagers when the city was in a dark, dark place. And then there came this energy, this creativity out of nothingness, because it's in all of us to create. Now this artist has become teacher, using her experience to help guide the next generation. How do you hope to touch people when they see this? Well, I hope to touch people by one, inspiring them to do art themselves and get other permission walls and continue beautifying this neighborhood. I hope to inspire them to get some help and reach out when things are overwhelming to them and that they are not alone. So there's always someone out there that cares for you.